Uh, when our, our two boys uh, started playing Junior League in 1978, uh, yeah, and we, we got involved sort of just that first year or so. We had a caravan at home that was painted red and gold for the canteen. Uh, we'd have to tow that to home games, you get that set up. Mum was always setting up a canteen. Yeah, I've been secretary, treasurer, president. And you've had treasurer roles and mm, uh, have, yeah. different things. I've just sort of been ha happy to help out wherever. We come out on training nights only on the special barbecue nights because I make a big thing of coleslaw. <laughs> and you've got to have, got to have lawn as coleslaw. <laughs> Max and Lorna knew that they were the winners of the Country Rugby League Award, but had no idea that they were to be recognised on this national level as the National Rugby League Volunteers of the Year. And I'm also very pleased to announce today that we're recognising you as the National Volunteers of the Year. We're blown away, truly. Yeah. 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 It's, no, it is. It's just, just unbelievable. When, when we were getting off the dye, she said, "You better help me." She said, "My legs are going to jelly." <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that they know that they're appreciated because sometimes it probably does go under wraps a bit, and they, you know, they don't mind that they're not getting the wraps. But it's nice to come here and, and so, sort of surprise them, I guess, and present them with the award. Um, you know, this is the grassroots rugby league here, and this is where it all starts. And without these sort of people, um, you know, the day doesn't go on. You know, they're just devoted parents, good role models as to how you'd like to bring your kids up and faultless for me. Oh,